Welcome to this comprehensive video tutorial on setting up a new indicator in Indicata. Our goal is to guide you through the entire process of configuring your indicator profile. If the specific indicator you need isn't in the indicator library, don't worry, you can create it from scratch. Begin by identifying the framework item you'd like to link to the indicator, then select Create Indicator to initiate the indicator setup process. This is where the magic happens. You can choose to create a blank indicator or configure an existing template. For this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to create a blank indicator. Now, let's fill in some essentials. Start with the indicator name. In our case, it's number of children vaccinated against measles. As you proceed, you'll also need to specify other details, for example, the indicator definition and context type. It's important to know that Indicata supports both qualitative and quantitative indicators. Indicata also offers a range of options for data format, including number, text, value list, percent, and date. The chosen data format applies to your indicator's data points. Data collection for indicators can be incremental or cumulative by nature. Incremental data collection focuses on illustrating progress within a specific reporting period, such as a quarter. In contrast, cumulative data collection provides insights into progress from the baseline measurement date up to the current quarter or a specified date. Direction of change is crucial. It indicates if an increase or a decrease in the indicator value is positive. For instance, in the case of birth rate indicators, an increase is viewed positively, while for mortality rate indicators, a decrease is a positive change. Another crucial consideration is the reporting frequency of indicator values. By default, the indicator's baseline values are reported only once. However, target and actual values can be reported at different intervals, including daily, weekly, monthly, semi-annually, annually or on a one-time basis. It's essential to know that target values are usually reported with less frequency than actual values. This distinction ensures that targets are effectively tracked over time and compared to the actual performance at appropriate intervals. Lastly, let's address the indicator start and end dates. By default, indicators' reporting periods align with the framework's implementation schedule. When this schedule is not predefined, the system considers the indicator start and end dates. Without these dates, reporting is limited to the current year and subsequent three years. A quick note, at this point you won't be able to save your indicator. To proceed, specify at least one data point. For details on adding data points, check our Adding a Data Point video tutorial. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials and tips on making the most of Indicata.